There is a force in sports more powerful than a linebacker, louder than an umpire, and more dedicated than a NASCAR pit crew. It is the sports fan. We decided to, yeah, that's right. And by the way, go Bo Sox! Yeah! Well, we decided to find out what drives these unshakable sports enthusiasts. And there is no better man up for the challenge than America's premier documentary filmmaker. Fans sure do some crazy things. They paint their faces, their, their bodies, they even color their hair, all in the name of their team. So I decided to take off on a little trip across the world to talk to some sports fans and find out just what drives their incredible devotion to sports. I have to go with Moses Malone because Moses <laughs> parred the red lane <laughs> and drove to the basket for Jesus. And for some fans, like this used car salesman from Boise, Idaho, sports is serious business. I'll, I'll tell you like this, competition is what makes America great. First of all, I'd just like to say that I love ESPN, I love the song, da-da-da, da-da-da. Throughout history, sports has provided some memorable moments. And for the lucky ones, like Cottonmouth Jenkins, an old Negro League umpire, one moment can last a lifetime. I believe that was one of the greatest things in the world to see Will Chamberlain score 100 points in one game. He gets a pass, grabs it, and dunks it through. 100 points for Will Chamberlain. Saddest thing in the world when he wouldn't let me wet my whistle with one of them 20,000 fillies. All I wanted was a dip. Sports offers fans a chance to get away, and Americans need an escape. They work long and hard, and most aren't paid that much. Maybe that's why fans get a little crazy about their sports. Like Cooter B, a mechanic I met in Greenbow, Alabama. Let me tell you something about NASCAR, man. It's the best sport ever. It's the only sport. They try to look down on us cause just because we like NASCAR. <laughs> like, we don't have culture, you know? But the thing is, is that NASCAR say that. World Series in New York. The president tosses out the first ball to start the game. Ah, the good old days, when you actually had to go to the game to see it. Now television brings the game to you and to the most remote corners of the globe. He may be from Africa, but Ickford Assisi's love for sports sounds all American to me. I love Shaquille O'Neal because of his big muscles. They have tried everything to foul him. It looks like they are killing a buffalo in the wild. Poor Shaquille O'Neal. Finally, I get to meet a fan from a culture steeped in thousands of years of tradition and wisdom. Even sushi master Noriyuki Matsumoto has a burning passion for sports. <laughs> <laughs> Can it be that simple? Is it love that drives the fanatics? Or is it something a bit more practical? You know why I like Randy Johnson, man? And the reason he pitched that perfect game, look at his hair, man. He's got a mullet. How about Peyton Manning? He's white. I love that about him already. I like to read from the book of James. <laughs> LeBron James, can I hold a quick million? So here I am at the end of this amazing journey, and you know what I've discovered? There is no rational explanation for the behavior of fans, and there doesn't have to be. Each and every fan is unique, living vicariously through the teams that they love, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, just as long as none of them are living near me.